Hi everyone, Kathy Fortner here, independent consultant with The Pampered Chef, helping you get more out of your meal times. It is Taste Buds Day, so we have May's Taste Buds just arrived today, and you guys know how I feel about my Taste Buds. So, let's see what's inside this box. Those of you who are not familiar with our Taste Buds subscriptions, they come, um, you can get it month to month, every three months, or every six months. Uh, they'll come every month, but you can um, subscribe for that rotation. So you can um, have it so that it bills every month, every three months, or every six months. Of course, every six months is gonna be your cheaper option overall if you keep going. Um, I'm on my second six month subscription. So they come every, like I said, they come every month. And inside we have three seasonings. And three recipes. So it uh, looks like we are hitting summer here. So, okay. So our theme this month is barbecue made new. And our main recipes are flank steak with potato hash using the smoky barbecue rub. The ba we have baked barbecue wings using the Kansas City style barbecue rub. And we have the Carolina barbecue salmon with the South Carolina style barbecue rub. So we're really going barbecue this season. And I believe a couple of these are new seasoning. So we're, the nice thing about Taste Buds is sometimes they will send us the seasoning in Taste Buds before it's actually out in the catalog for, no, for regular purchase. So I love that little sneak peek preview that our Taste Buds subscribers get. And so we have our introductory card here. And then on the back, we have about three recipes per seasoning um, beyond the main recipes that they give us. So these are extra ways, because these seasoning packets, while they're kind of a sample, they're a really big sample. So you have enough here to make the recipe a couple of times, um, as well as do um, some of the hints on the back for the seasoning mixes. So for example, um, smoky barbecue rub or additional um, seasoning or additional suggestions this month are quick barbecue sauce, a white bean dip and broiled shrimp. Uh, Kansas City style barbecue rub. Uh, the additional suggestions are sweet and tangy ranch dressing, slow cooker pulled pork, and barbecue mac. And for the South Carolina style barbecue rub, we've got baked beans, potato salad, and cornbread. This is going to be a delicious, delicious month. Um, definitely prepping us for that summer, uh, the summer cookouts. So, looking at our recipes here, um, the Car Carolina barbecue salmon. Um, like I said, each time you get a recipe per seasoning, and they also give you alternatives there. So one of the thing I, things I like about Taste Buds is the flexibility. We have the meals, you know, they're giving us the meals, they're giving us the seasoning for the meals, but however we do our grocery shopping is up to us. So, and we actually, as Taste Bud subscribers, get a preview of the cards and the information the first of the month. There's even a shopping list in the Taste Buds hub. So we can go in, print the shopping list, and be all ready when these things arrive. And they usually arrive around the 10th. Um, and if this packet is something that you're interested in, if you're kind of ooing and aahing over all the barbecue, um, you have until the 16th actually to go to my website and place the order for this month's um, seasonings. But the other nice thing about Taste Buds too is, well, you may not get, you know, if you subscribe now, well, you may not get the previous seasonings, you do have access to the full library. So if you go back and look at my Taste Buds videos um, and there are some recipes there that you want, subscribe to Taste Buds, you'll get to see all of the older stuff. And then you can just go to my website and buy the full size seasoning mixes. So, okay, so for the Carolina barbecue salmon, um, you know, you can make it egg, egg free and they give an egg free um, option without the mayonnaise because there's mayonnaise in here. And, um, since it has asparagus in it, you can also try green beans instead of asparagus. Looking at the um, ingredients here, okay, this looks easily gluten-free for those of you who are out there are gluten-free. And those of us who are plant-based, I would substitute um, instead of salmon, I've been known to use um, slices of tofu or slices of tempeh, either one of those would work. And let's see here. You could almost use chickpeas as well. So any of those would work. Flank steak with potato hash. Um, okay, so instead of flank steak, they're saying you can use skirt steak, steak instead. Skirt steak instead. Um, and the root rehash, you can swap the potatoes for carrots or sweet potatoes or something like that. So, and in terms of plant-based options, uh, same thing. I would go with a tofu or a tempeh or something like that instead of the steak. And 
Yeah, I don't see anything in here that would um, have gluten in it. So great for your gluten-free diets. And then baked barbecue wings. And these are gonna be so good. Um, so for extra flavor, they're saying you can substitute um, sugar, mustard, and salt um, with more of the South Carolina barbecue rub. Um, you can also use the sauce on chicken thighs, ribs, or roasted cauliflower. And, you know, again, I don't see anything with gluten in here in the ingredients. So easy adaptations there. But, you know, my family, we get a um, box from the local farm, community supported agriculture. So I love that I can choose where my ingredients come from uh, in terms of, you know, the actual foods that I'm using. I don't have to work, you know, go strictly with what's in a box delivered to me. So, you know, if you're, you want to go totally budget friendly, um, you can shop at whatever grocery store, um, organic, conventional, however you want to purchase your groceries for the meals. But what they're giving us here are the, the recipes and the seasonings and the shopping list just to make mealtime easier. I don't know how many times I have, I've, you know, your day goes off the rails. You may have a dinner plan, um, but maybe it takes a while or something like that. And you know, I'm like, oh, what are we going to do for dinner right now? And I really don't want to go to the eating out part because uh, we do that plenty. So, you know, I'll go to my, I have these now in a photo album and I'll go to the, the my Taste Buds album and go through and say, oh, okay, I have everything for this. We're going to make this. These are under 30 minutes, guys, you know, really quick and easy meals to make because our goal is to make your, your time in the kitchen easier so that you can focus on whatever is a priority to you. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to make them uh, down below or send me a message and I will talk to you guys all later. Thanks. Bye.